Hey there, this is Tokomotion and today I want to give you some quick tips on how to work with my stylized kids and teens uh, characters that are available at my store at the Revolution Marketplace. A direct link is given in the description below. So yeah, feel free to check it out. Alright, after you installed um, the characters on your computer, you will find all the morphs under the actor body and tokomotion tab and there you find a folder that is called stylized kids and teens here you can see all the characters that you have pur purchased at the moment i offer 10 characters in total but i think i will also provide some more in the future uh, you will see all the uh, names of the characters here with the corresponding icon of the uh, shape Alright, if you want to start working with uh, this uh, morphs, then simply open a new project and make sure that you press the reset button at the beginning so that you have the default shape of the figure here. So then go again to Togo Motion, Stylized Kids and Teens, and you can apply all the different morphs uh, to the characters then. So, as I said before, 10 in total, but it depends uh, which one you purchased. Uh, I provided some different packages, uh, but of course you can also uh, buy all the characters um, separately. So, it depends what, what you want for your project. Alright, so this works quite well. You can further adjust the characters, of course, by giving it uh, them, yeah, your your own textures or apply some other morphs from uh, the Reolution packages that are available. It depends wh what you need for your projects. But uh, first of all, let me just give you a quick hint that uh, I would recommend to start working not with the sliders itself but with the uh, corresponding character creator projects that I provide for each slider. You will find these uh, in your actors projects tab then cloth and under the template you will have a folder called Tokomotion and there you have the stylized kids and teens volume 1 and here you have yeah, custom CC projects for each morph or for each character. This is because uh, if you just apply the slider to, to your default character, you will recognize that if you press the eyes open close button here at the top, you will see that the lids don't cover the whole eye at the moment. This is because all of my characters have slightly bigger eyes than the default ones and I can't put in uh, adjusted shapes to the slider itself but only to the corresponding CC projects or eye avatar files. So let me just open a project to show it. To so I have opened Linus here and um, this little guy is ready for you to work with so if you press the eyes open close button again you will see that the lids are perfectly or the lids perfectly cover the the eyes and I also gave this little guy in the project some adjusted expression shapes I did it I did this with all the characters so all the project files have fixed expression shapes um, yeah beside the adjusted uh, shapes for the for the face I also provided some adjusted default shirts and default jeans for the character or for the boy characters and the default dress for the girl characters additionally additionally I um, yeah provide some custom-made default shoes and 
yeah, I, th I thought uh, this shape is much more, or has uh, looks much better than the default boots that come with a uh, character creator. Well, as I said, um, the default shirt, shirt and default jeans are shape adjusted. This is mainly because the shape itself is is really an extreme morph compared to the default uh, character. So you may, uh, yeah, you may recognize some issues with applied cloths. So, for example, if I give Linus the default shirt, so let me just delete this and give him the default shirt again. Then you will see that the shape, um, yeah, doesn't really good look good, and you may try to conform it to its body shape a little bit more by using the close fitting option and then calculate collision and for the overall shape it looks quite good but if you have a closer look especially to the buttons here you will see that there are some gaps here and they are also a little bit distorted and there's also a big issue in the neck area here with the color and yeah, all in all that doesn't look really good. I hope Reillusion can yeah, fix this uh, issue in future releases but at the moment the only way to get rid of this is by adjusting the shapes of the cloths manually. So as I said I did this already for all the characters that are available at the marketplace but of course only for the default shirt, default jeans and default dress. Alright, of course you can um, further adjust the cloth by using the appearance editor. This will work for the shirt, for the pants and for the shoes of course. Okay, so what else to say? Well, yeah, you may have, or you may want to, uh, or you, you may want to say, okay, uh, this this guy is is great, but uh, I don't want to have such a stylized character. Well, it's really simple to work with the sliders to give him a, a semi semi stylized look, or yeah, a more um, let's say a more real life look. This is simply by using the morph slider and at the moment they are set to 100% but if you simply uh, use a, yeah, a, l a lower value then you can create different um, styles of the character. So for example use a value of 40 then you have really a, a real life teen character that would fit or that would go for your project. Or if you want to have a more of a semi a semi style one then for example use a 75% sli slider value. Or of course if you like the original character then use the 100% but as you can see it's really easy to adjust the shape to your needs by simply using a, a different value for the slider and then of course you can further adjust the character shape by using one of the essential morphs that are provided by Reillusion so there are endless possibilities to yeah, further refine your character, and I think you will. Yeah, the the characters will cover a lot, a lot of of different needs, and yeah, everyone should find their uh, perfect match for the project. Okay, this is one little tip for you, but let me give you another one. I will load lower. For this, 
Okay, Loa. As you can see, I already designed uh, Loa as a little girl, but as she is such a little uh, little child, it's really simple to make a, also a boy out of this character. So I already gave her uh, the default hair, um, and it's more like a like an um, yeah, more like a, a boyish look. But of course, with a little bit of uh, yeah, different accessories, you can really make a cute girl out, out of her, like this promo I did before. And as I said, you can easily change this little girl to a little boy. So just get rid of all the girlish cloths here. So, and then for example, I will use one of the essential clothing pack. So let's give him a t shirt. And maybe some shorts. So you can, of course, conform the cloth a little bit more to the shape. I think the conform um, conform options will quite uh, or will work quite well on simple shapes like t-shirts or these little um, shorts here. Um, but of course there will be some more issues if you apply some of the yeah, complex shapes like the hoodie for example or the blazer. I will provide some tutorials on how to fix uh, such cloth issues. So let me maybe just apply this pl blazer here for presentation purposes. So as you can see if I use the conform once again. You can see that the overall, overall shapes look looks quite well but here uh, for the buttons and also for the color here of the of the jacket there are some issues that we need to get rid of manually so because the, the conform option doesn't really uh, get rid of this but as I said, I will um, create a separate tutorial for fixing this. Uh, so watch out on my YouTube, cha YouTube channel for this. Will be available soon, I think. So, but uh, back to the original idea to change the the original designed Loa character to a to a boy character, and I think we we already done it by just applying some different cloth to to him here so you can also give him another um, haircut or whatever or as well as change the the shape of, th of the head of course or use an another value for the for the slider to make him a little bit older or whatever you want so there are endless possibilities to yeah to customize your characters for your project and of course not only the shape can be adjusted also the um, the skin color can be adjusted so we have a little black guy here but if you need a, a little white guy then simply load the appearance editor and and on the body base uh, just use the diffuse sliders here to yeah maybe to make him a little bit um, he's a little bit pale I think so I think you, you should play with this 
slider values here to to give him a, a, a another skin color or use one of the uh, pre-made three illusion ones so I think base male will also fit quite well <laughs> yeah but you should of course get rid of the beer so for example just get rid of the normals here also the strong ones and for the head should also decrease the normal strength so roughness and age for also for the cheeks this is okay and then okay this little guy I think doesn't need a beard at this age so where's the beard the moustache none of course and the beard should also disappear alright then you can just work on the eyebrows a little bit so maybe just rotate it a little bit more like so and change the position slightly yeah I think that looks quite good and here you have a little white guy oh I see he has some some leg hair, so some body hair. I think we should get rid of this as well. Body hair and on. So and then we have a little boy made out of the little black lower character. So okay, I think that's it for the first quick tips on my stylist kids and teens. Um, I hope you like it and uh, I hope this helped a little bit for your projects so if you want just leave a comment uh, I will give you feedback as soon as possible or yeah feel free to subscribe and yeah happy creating <laughs>